I'm Zishan Shah and welcome to the interactive YouTube channel, your own training institute. So in our next lesson here, we will learn about the node, which is known as cross section. Now cross section is half of something. So let's see how it works. So let me bring uh, here like a Perlin noise or something. And I will decrease the size of it. And I will bring the cross section. And you can see that it shows the half. Okay, black and white half of it. So if I will take this input and put it inside, so you will get this sort of a result. So this is the half of this actually. But if I will go here, start cross section coordinate, like coordinate changes over here. Okay, Y axis, Z axis. So I will just get this sort of an animation sort of stuff. Okay, uh, but I'm not, I will not get something like uh, something interesting over here. Okay, so you can have some gradient sort of stuff here. You can see some, well, now you can see things are getting a little bit interesting. So it's, it's kind of look like a mountainous sort of thing. Okay, gradient mirrored means like both sides here. Okay, and then inverted gradient or non-inverted gradient, it's totally up to you. You can move this here, okay? So if I plug this everything here, and let's go here. It's tessellation only, edit, uh, scale. Let's increase the scale, okay, to 10. Let's go back here. Scale height, coordinate, okay. You can see some results here going on. So let's turn on the gradient and you will see something like this. You invert it, you will see something like this. Line, you will see something like this. So these kind of results you will uh, start getting with it okay now if I will add some sort of a histogram scan or threshold okay let's add here threshold and you can see I will get something like this okay or what I can do instead of this I can add uh histogram scan and you can see that i can create these sort of mountains here Okay, and some sort of other stuff on it, and just like that. Okay, so something like this, you can create mountains. So one thing we know that you can create mountain with it. Now, other uh, some cool thing you can do with this is like uh, suppose if I go here and. Let's see some sort of a shape here that we have. Okay, so we have a shape uh, mapper. So we'll take the shape mapper here, and then we will take some sort of a uh, shape, like a disk. Scale it down it inside and then if we take this whole thing with the shift key and put it here oops wait no 
I'm using this show yeah. yeah. Yes, this is the one what I need. Yes. But this should not be gradient at this point, solid it should be. Then we can change it. Then I will put it here. Something there. And you can see that what kind of result it is producing. So if I will go inside my pattern, increase the patterns amount here, radius, width, okay. So you can see like different sort of result we can get through it. And instead of uh, shape, if we are adding a tile generator, So you can see what sort of effect we are getting here. Light scale. Okay. Then gradient, it will look like this. So you can get a lot of interesting shapes here. So one thing I really like about this is when it, uh, when you can work with this, okay, using a curve node. So I will go to the curve. I will, uh, I will take the curve node here. Okay. So curve node always, uh, you know, it always comes with a, uh, a gr uh, like a gradient that you can change later on. And then I will bring the cross section. Plug this in here. Okay, and use everything there. Now, if I will go to the curve, you can see this curve. This is like this is the uh, like shape of the curve. Exactly the same shape the cross section is making. Means like it's half of it. So if I will go here in the curve and start reshaping stuff, okay, making something like this like this so it will keep on con well, like uh, converting this into and it will start showing me here as well something like this this okay and what else i can do is that i can take this one okay and use a transform 2d rotate this and maybe without any tiling, no tiling, I can make it smaller. Put it here, mirror, grayscale. Okay, and just notice what sort of shapes, interesting stuff you can make with this. And maybe you can add here histogram scan to remove some unwanted on un, uh, unwanted parts. Okay. Okay, so just you can make a lot, any kind of shape here. Now, if I will go back to my curves, I can make any sort of a curve, like more changes to it. And just notice how the effect is changing here, like this is changing here. Like think about anything, you can make half of it and you will get the idea here. So you can make this sort of thing like two D 
two people looking at each other that sort of thing okay and maybe you can invert it that will go down okay so these kind of cool stuff you can make with the uh, uh, like cross section it's it's quite uh like very useful and very uh nice tool a uh, nice node so try experimenting with it and you can do mountain mountains also if you're if you're using these uh like noises in it okay and you can also make these like sort of sh uh, like sh shapes if you're using tile sampler or other thing uh, you can make uh very complex shapes like mandala or sort of uh like like that sort of thing like suppose if I'll have a uh, shape here, okay, and then uh, I'll turn this into disk, smaller, and then I will have a Perlin noise. Let's bring all this down here. Then I will have this uh, directional warp. I'll put this here, put this here, okay. And intensity, I can increase it. Direction, maybe I can make it up on the top, maybe a little bit more 50, okay. And change this direction here, okay. And maybe scale this down. And then if I will use the cross section here. And apply this to the core section you can see what sort of result we will, i will be getting here out of this like making this the, the height of it so you can turn on the helper so it will show you which what part of it it is showing the half okay and then you can increase or decrease the scale of it and other stuff you can do with it but i like the uh, the way it works with the curve so i hope uh, you like that too and i'm sure you will be waiting for our next lesson our next lesson will be uh, up soon which is all about the distance note i would like to thank you all for all your support and i hope you will continue to support me please subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed to it yet and i will be posting a lot of new content so don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can receive the notifications about them if you have liked my video so please hit the like button and leave your questions in the comment section below and i will surely answer them in the end i would like to mention that please don't uh, forget to watch my videos online rather than downloading them because otherwise uh, my hard work won't pay off like this so please uh, support me always watch my videos online and thanks a lot once again and soon we'll meet in the next class take care of yourself stay healthy and keep learning there's one important announcement i would like to make i have started three great membership plans on my channel I have introduced ZDI Friends membership plan, which will give you exciting perks like loyalty badges and priority on comments. I have also introduced ZDI Early Bird plan, which will give access to Z interactive tutorials way early before they become public. So you will get all these lessons at once and you can binge watch. Last but not the least, I have introduced ZDI Premium plan, which will give access to advanced professional tutorials which you will find it very, very expensive outside. And I will be giving this at a very low amount of price. So visit my channel now and click on the join membership to get more information. I hope you become one of my members. If you want to learn how to create a highly detailed prop procedurally using Substance Designer, so this premium tutorial series is for you. Join my premium membership plan on YouTube and get access to all premium tutorials. In this tutorial series, I will demonstrate how to use Substance Designer along with simple geometry to create a realistic smashed up retro television.